you get involved with the 1066 movie project? Through an email. I had an email from someone called Robin. He'd read the book Harold the King and he wanted some help with a script and a project that he had in mind for a movie and he wondered if I'd be interested in helping out and I, I thought oh this is a wind up and promptly deleted it <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but he persisted <laughs> and uh, he, gave in. <laughs> well I realised that it wasn't a wind up it was genuine um, Robin uh, you know we met up and we chatted and I looked over the script and I put in my two penny worth which is about a good half of the script and all the bits that he'd missed out there was no women in it when Robin wrote it <laughs> <laughs> so it was good actually because it meant I put in the women's angle um, to, to Robin's battle scenes so so he found out about you from writing Harold the King yes why did you write Harold the King primarily because I was fed up with history starting at 1066 um, everything we learnt at school, it's all Norman propaganda. Starting from the fact that William the Conqueror had no right to the English throne whatsoever. And I wanted to redress the balance. I wanted to write the Battle of Hastings from the English point of view. So how did you find out that what everybody thought they knew about the 1066 was wrong in the first place? Mostly research. Mm. Uh, looked into the uh, as many books as I could, I went back to sources, um, and also you use logic. Uh, I, I, I'd been quite passionate about Har Harold for quite a long time. You know, you looked at things and it, you think, that doesn't sound right. Mm. Along the lines of, for instance, William built ba Battle Abbey as, as penance. Mm. Well, so if he had right to the throne, why was he doing penance? Yeah. Um, and also Harold, of course, he's also a local lad. Um, I live in Walthamstow. Harold lived, was around here quite uh, Waltham Abbey, which is just up the road. So he's always been a hero of mine and I thought, oh, it's about time. Let's hear it for Harold. <laughs> <laughs> so aside from Harold Goodwinson, do you have a favourite character? I think, I've got to say Harold's father, Godwin. I, I got very fond of him. Uh, he was quite a, more I delved into he actually ruled, ruled the country. Mm. Uh, he was first in command after the after the king, and and I have to say the the women as well. Um, one woman I really did pick up on was Queen Emma, who was Edward, the Confessor's mother, uh, and great aunt to William of Normandy. As I was writing Harold, I got so interested in her, I decided to do her own novel, so um, which is called Hollow Crown. A uh, bit of a plug here. <laughs> Or in the United States, I think they're going to call it the Forever Queens. Yeah. <laughs> but Emma's story, yes, yeah, she was um, oh one formidable lady. So, your your Hollow Crown is about to be published in the US yeah. um, under the title The Forever Queen. So, who is Queen Emma? She was wife to Ethelred the Unready. Then she was wife to King Canute. <laughs> <laughs> She liked being queen, so she, she remained queen by marrying Canute. She was mother of Edward the Confessor. Uh, she virtually ruled England during Canute's time as regent. She's very formidable, very powerful woman. Mo a lot of people know about um, Erna of Aquitaine mm -hmm. later on in history. I reckon Emma was probably on a par with Eleanor. Um, she was one very powerful lady. Um, didn't have a very good marriage with Ethelred, from what we can piece together. Uh, so she just liked being queen. So when Canute conquered, uh, she, you know, we assume, made a deal with him and remained queen. Good for her. <laughs> <laughs> so she was mother, uh, mother of two kings. This, um, Canute's son was king for a while, and wife of two other kings. Not bad going, eh? No, it's, it sounds like. Every woman's dream. Yes, <laughs> something to aspire to. Um, so you've you've obviously written a lot of books uh, of a certain period. Do you yeah. plan another novel in that period? Yes, I'm going to be doing a follow-up to Harold the King. Um, I've got the research to do yet. Uh, that's probably going to take me another two years or so to do all that. <laughs> um, 
I've been struggling with it. I was going to write, start writing it a few years ago, but I just haven't had the motivation because I have to admit I cannot stand William. <laughs> Duke William is, I, I loathe the man. And the thought of having to write another book about him, it's just, oh, no, I, I don't want to do this. Um, but I feel I'm ready to do it now. Yeah. Uh, so it's actually going to be about the rebellion in England against William. Because uh, he didn't, contrary to popular belief, as you read in books, he didn't have it all his own way. Uh, he very nearly lost England several times. And one of his greatest antagonists was Hereward, who most people might have heard of as Hereward the Wake. Mm -hmm. uh, he um, was settled around Ely, up in the Fenlands, and he very, very nearly defeated William. Um, he, he was actually betrayed by the monks at Ely. Uh, so I'm going to write about him. <laughs>